The following is a production of Learfield Sports. On today's edition of the Badger Sports Report, we'll get you caught up on Wisconsin basketball as Bo Ryan's team goes through a very challenging non-conference schedule. And it's handling that challenge very, very well. We'll hear from the head coach. We'll also look back at Saturday's game with Marquette, and we'll hear from seven-foot junior Frank Kaminsky, who has set a school single game scoring record. It's coming up next on the Badger Sports Report. Haney through the center circle for the Badgers. Moving to our left here in this first half of play, which is winding down. Haney on the dribble. Out the Decker, Sam barrels down the lane, and a powerful dunk from Sam Decker. Oh, what a punch from the sophomore. Jackson at the edge of the center circle, 10 on the shot clock. Trey, is it Trey time again? A kick out Kaminsky for three straight on. He hit it! Oh, big hit for Kaminsky from up top. 60 to 54, Wisconsin with a minute 25 to play. I was ready to shoot it, but uh, they kind of, you know, I'll always be ready to pass it as well. Um, they kind of sank on it. We were running a high ball screen, and um, he didn't really pop too many times before that. And then one time he did hit, you know, I, I'll find him. I tell him all the time, you know, be ready to catch and shoot. And uh, that's what he does. That's what Frank is good at. And that's what, you know, we got the most faith in him and taking that shot anytime. So it was huge. Down the lane, right hand, slam dunk, Sam Decker. Inbounds pass to Brust, across half court, he'll hoist one up, he hit it! Big Brust for three! Stamps off the three, right of the circle, and it's off the rim and in! Jackson strikes again! Out the gossip for three, he hit it again! The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Zimbrick Buick GMC. By Adidas. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Here is a story I'd like to impart, a tale of a little girl's sick, ailing heart. It begins with her doctor and favorite nurse, then on to her blankie and polka dot purse. As we are the UW, it is doubly true. We have gizmos and gadgets all shiny and new. With talents and skill and brain power galore, we fixed Kennedy's heart, so she is sick no more. UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. As a strength and conditioning coach to some of Wisconsin's top athletes, people always ask me, what's the secret to top performance? I always tell them that what happens after your workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. I know something about winning championships, and at Zimbrick Buick and GMC, you have one. Zimbrick Buick's tradition of customer care dates back to 1965. And Zimbrick continues to provide each of our customers with high quality personal service you can rely on. I'm part of the Zimbrick Buick and GMC team, and you should be too. To the front court is Trey Jackson, finds a back cutting slam, slam decker, that's right. Sam Decker with the slam dunk. Haney, left of the lane, picked up the dribble, feeds Decker. Sam left wing, and Sam will try a three over Gardner and hit it. Decker for three. 
16 to 12 for Badgers. 9.35 left of the half. Deontay Burton left of the circle, checked by Sam Decker. Burton puts it on the deck, in the lane, up low and left, blocked by Evan Anderson. Ball is loose. Long pass intended for Jamil Wilson, picked off by Ben Bruss, two on one. Ben drives to the lane, goes up with a dunk and missed it. Trey Jackson trying to save, and he does to Sam Decker. A lob into Kaminsky, and he'll send it down. With two hands, it counts, and a foul. Here's Jackson on the drive, left to the lane. Now the reverse layup is good, going left to right. Trey Jackson gives the Badgers a 10-point lead. Let's kick out Gosser, it's deflected. Contact, contact again. Gosser gets the loose change. Baseline left, run out Decker. Three ball, right pocket, got it. Oh, hustle hope if ever there was one. 51-40, Wisconsin with 8.55 remaining. Yeah, it's very satisfying. It's exactly what we need to do. Um, it's something that kind of lacked the first couple games, but that's understandable um, in some respects. So uh, last year, I just think we got beat on the boards way too much. and. Uh, to see it pretty much even here it was nice. Um, we gave up a little too many offense rebounds at the end there that we that we love to clean up. But overall, this this week was great for us. You know, we won some grind grind out games, uh, which is what we're going to need to do come you know Big Ten season. I mean, everyone is very satisfying. Don't get me wrong, but um, this one is this one is felt pretty good, especially of what they did to us last year and handled us pretty good. And you know, they had they had bragging rights for this whole year and they deserved it. You know and. Um, you know, we've made it a point of emphasis that we, we wanted to get this, and, you know, it's a big, we're, we're proud of it, and it's a big win, and it's very satisfying, but it's just like every other one. we got to take it, take the positives with the negatives, and uh, go out and get better. Try to treat each game the same. You know, that's what Coach Ryan preaches, and that's what we do. Um, but, you know, this one, you kind of, I think both teams kind of, you know, tie their shoes a little tighter, you know, you get, get that extra little energy, because it's such a big rivalry, and especially for us, you know, losing the past two the way, the way we did, so... Uh, you know, like Sam said, we just uh, really happy to come out with the win. Uh, it's it's great. Um, you try not to look at that stuff, though. Um, you know all the rankings and you know the historical stuff. Um, but at the same time, you you know you gotta be proud of your accomplishments. You gotta uh, be happy that you can come out wins like this. Uh, we played a pretty tough schedule, so to. Uh, to come out and win in a different, you know, variety of ways is, is huge for us. And um, but you know, like I said, we we're not satisfied. We're going to keep working. Uh, we got a long ways to go till till uh, you know we want to achieve our goals. So, uh, but right now, you know, we're happy about it. I think we expected this in a way, not not an ignorant way at all. But you know, we have a very confident bunch, and Trey and I have tried to you know kind of preach it. Early in this off season, you know, why can't we win every game we go out and play? You know, we got the talent to do it. And we got a best coach in the business <laughs> leading us, and um, you know, we got the confident guys and the trust in each other. And I think we've grown together, you know, so much since June started. And um, you know, getting Josh back and having Trey a year under his belt at the point guard, and myself and Frank and Ben always being there day in and day out. Um, you know, we we expect ourselves to be perfect and. Um, you know, we got a lot, to, a lot of work to do, but we're happy where we're at right now. Inching forward, shot clock is at seven. Trayvon Jackson made a lot of big shots last year, tries again, right elbow, money! Trey Jackson the bucket, Badgers up five. First basketball show of this Badger sports report season and uh, what a season it's been here so far for Coach Ryan's team uh, off to such a good start against a schedule that I think would be second to none in terms of the non-conference slate at, at this school. and. And on the short list, the toughest in the country, if not at the very top. It's been a been a heck of a run, and it's not exactly going to get a lot easier here in the coming week. No, and, and you would have to bring it up. You I would. would have to remind me. I was <laughs> I was thinking other thoughts until you brought Sorry that up that. again. Uh, yeah, the schedule just uh, the teams that we're playing are going to be teams in their conferences that are going to make a lot of noise, and and they're competitive programs. Obviously, some very good programs that uh, that have made some noise over the years, and. 
It's one of those things where we always talk about the Big Ten getting ready for the Big Ten, and this by far is the toughest schedule we've ever had. This is a young team, too, in spots, and I, and I know it's way too early to, to really to start reflecting back a whole lot, but you always, you always hear coaches say, we need guys to grow up and maybe be mature but beyond their years. Um, with this team, are you seeing some pretty encouraging yeah. signs in that direction? Well, we had to, losing... Um, you think of all the minutes over the last couple of years that uh, that front line with Berger and Bruzowitz and, uh, and, of course, Ryan Evans. So you take those minutes and then plug them in with some other guys that hopefully uh, understand the challenges and understand what it is that's expected, and they've done a very good job of, of meeting those expectations. Fans have seen Nigel Hayes. They'll see more of Vito Brown in that front line in, in due time. But I, I know Nigel, in talking with him this past week, he he mentioned without even me asking about how a guy like Evan Anderson helps him because of the strength. That's the adjustment. Among other things, you go through from high school to college, the big bodies, and Evan is a big body, and he runs into them more our, than occasionally. Our practices are so competitive. I, I am so proud of uh, guys like Evan, guys like uh, Showy, um, Zach Showwater, and, and Jason Bohannon's brother, of course. I, I, I still refer to him as Jason's brother. but. <laughs> Zebo, <laughs> nah, I think he's earned in, in his title all to himself. And, and his contributions and all the guys, Jordan Hill, uh, that whole scout team uh, just competes so hard every day. And they've made the, uh, they've made the top eight, nine guys run several times. And, and the reason I say that is if, if they get more than one point per possession, then uh, the guys who are over on my side of the court, they have to run. So... Uh, <laughs> Our, our scout team is very proud that some days, fortunately it's not every day, because then we then we just flip-flop teams. Right, there you uh, go. But it's, uh, it's, it's very good competition, very, uh, very attentive scout team work that they've done with the assistant coaches. And the assistant coaches, needless to say, have done a tremendous job. Because this team is, is as young as it is, did that make the Canada trip even that much more important that you guys went on this August? There is no way we'd be where we are without that trip. Uh, I, I firmly believe that. Um, I'm not just saying it because you get to go every four years, so hopefully we'll be able to make another one here in a few years and, and try to help some other young players, players without the experience. And if you time these right, uh, they can be more beneficial maybe than, say, other years. You've had the balance here to date, and it not unlike some of your, your best teams here and in your best teams at Platteville. All five starters at one point has led the team in scoring. Each of the five has led the team in scoring on a given night. Um, I don't know if you can expect that going in, but I would think that's a very encouraging sign. Makes it pretty hard to scout, I would think, as an opponent. Yeah, I, I think back to those teams that you mentioned, uh, no matter where I've coached, uh, when, when you get people sharing the ball, and, and all our teams do, some just uh, maybe more than others uh, at certain positions, but the, the fact that you can have that kind of balanced scoring does say to the other team, okay, if you do shut this off, we still think we can get something over here offensively. And the main thing is the way they play together makes us defensively a pretty good team mm -hmm. because of how you have to trust your teammates on help and on your pinches and, and on all our sink and, and recovery type situations that we end up getting into because of the talent of the teams that we're playing and their ability to penetrate, their ability to shoot the three, forces us to be really good um, team mm -hmm. defensive players because if you're not, then you know, it's, you're know you going to be on the right-hand side. Because this is the first uh, TV show this season, I'm jumping around different topics here, but you guys are, are back, been back a little over a week now from the, the Cancun Challenge, which I think the term challenge may have had multiple meanings on that trip. You won it, and your guys played extremely well. And you and, and everybody else down there, there were some things to overcome, it, it, which happens sometimes on the road, but it seemed like your guys did a pretty good job of, of fighting through some things that might not have been so easy to, to work through. Yeah, they, they handled uh, some of those minor problems. That it's, I, I can call them minor because they didn't happen to me, but uh, I just had a scorpion that I had to get rid of. Other than that, uh, we were okay. <laughs> uh, I keep reminding Kelly that, you know, I saved her. Nicely done. taking care of the scorpion. Um, but we've had a couple other things uh, that we dealt with that the, the guys uh, showed their maturity. They, they handled it well. And 
and they and they played well. They really played hard against St. Louis and West Virginia. Yeah, two very good teams, as you would know better than I about how tough they are and how well they how well they probably knew the Badgers, especially that St. Louis team with the young Tanner Bronson. Yeah, they had they had the inside yeah. scouting report. That's for sure. But they. Uh, St. St. Louis will win a lot of games in their, in their conference, and uh, West Virginia is starting to, uh, you know, they had some younger guys step up a little bit. So I think yeah, I think you'll see them better as the year goes on too. Badgers have played in a couple of challenging venues, going up to to Green Bay and, and defeating the Phoenix a few weeks back, and then congratulations on joining the 300 club. I guess we can call it that. 300 wins now. 300 club at the University of Wisconsin one of nine coaches in the league to have won that many games for a league school and uh, do it on I'm the road too. I'm kind of surprised all those coaches who know a heck of a lot, a heck of a lot more about basketball than I do that didn't make it to 300. I, I don't, um, well, it means uh, we've had good players, we've had good managers, we've had good coaches, we've had good support. Um, so the credit, uh, the credit goes to everyone that's been involved in it. Heard from an awful lot of players. Um, and as as I reminded them when I responded back to them, is hey, you're you're as much a part of this as anybody else. So um, I, I appreciated the the former players uh, and and their comments and the way they still hang with the Badgers. Absolutely, it's kind of t uh, telling that that Wisconsin uh, got that win for you on the road too. I think we know about the home court um, advantage that you have, but no one in the Big Ten has won more than the Badgers now in the last Baker's dozen years. Put it that way. So that was. Maybe a good touch. Well, yeah, some guys that can handle the adversity yeah. and have been able to deal with a lot of things. In order to win on the road, you, you do deal with a lot of things. All right. Badgers will be home for the remainder of the month of December, a Wednesday night home game against the Milwaukee Panthers, and then Saturday afternoon against a pretty good Eastern Kentucky team. So it's not like the uh, schedule really lightens up. In fact, it doesn't at all here in the coming week. As we continue on this edition of the Badger Sports Report, we'll look back at a record-breaking performance by a Badger big man that happened in the month of November. All that and more coming up as the Badger Sports Report continues. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. Most people know my favorite sport and my favorite color and maybe my favorite song. What they probably don't know is that I had a serious medical condition that required very complicated surgery. So now, I have a favorite doctor too. They are the world-renowned pediatric surgical teams at the American Family Children's Hospital, innovators in the art and science of minimally invasive surgery. UW Health, remarkable. The buzzer beaters, the high school tournaments, the conference titles, truly the court of champions. Parker Street Productions LLC has acquired pieces of the basketball court used at the Kohl Center from 1998 until 2008, now making them available to you. 61 teams walked off this court with a trophy. Now you can take home your own trophy, a piece of history. Log on to courtofchampions.com today. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. In sports, there is always a chance that you'll see something special, such was the case a couple of weeks ago as the Badgers hosted North Dakota. Seven-foot junior Frank Kaminsky was unstoppable, and on that night against North Dakota, Big Frank made history. Decker on the left-hand dribble, off the right wing, in the lane, darts it out to Kaminsky, open three, left corner, good. Long kick, Decker to Kaminsky. Baseline right, stops, bounce out Kaminsky, 18-footer, baseline left is sweet. Pick out Kaminsky, open three, right of the circle, yes. Right to left, in the lane, run out Kaminsky, open three, left pocket, bucket. 
Craig Kaminsky with 19. Out to the Kaminsky, low on the right, and he'll slam it down. Two-hand flush. Up a bounce into Frank, low on the left, two more. Out to Kaminsky, open three, right of the circle, book it. My goodness. Right block, going to work, left shoulder turn up, right hand, good. 41 for Kaminsky. The high screen, Koenig will use it. Here's the throw to Kaminsky on the right wing with a shot fake. Tries in the lane, up, and that's the record. Left hand layup, Frank Kaminsky, a single game school record, 43 points. That was a great game for me, but I think I've put some nice performances together since then. So, I mean, that was a great game for me, you know, kind of like a coming out party in, in a sense, but I mean, as a team, we're doing great and I'm proud of it. Off the rim, no, Kaminsky the rebound. He turns, left shoulder turn, up right hand, two more for Frank, he has 34. When those first couple of shots went in, you know, I, I kind of said to myself, I'm feeling it. And I think I said it to Trey once on the court, and, you know, I just kept shooting it, kept going in. I was on the wing, and I was open for a pass, and uh, Frank shot it because he was open too. I mean, he could have, you know, it was a good shot regardless. And I looked, and I was like, one more, one more, one more. He said, no, I'm feeling it. You know, they kind of let him roam three-point line, which is stupid. But we, we drove and kick and found him. Uh, he was spotting up and hit it, and I think I hit him on three in the first half, so he just kept that hot hand, and we kept finding him, and credit him for all that. You know, he, he was scoring back to the basket, face-ups, three-point shots. Um, you know, he was really feeling it tight, and, you know, you just got to keep feeding the hot hand. The roar is for Frank, and Kaminsky will exit. Yeah, I heard him boo, and uh, I was laughing because, um, you know, I, didn't, I had no idea I was close to a record, and... Um, you know, I was, I was kind of curious as to why he kept taking me out and putting me back in, but, uh, you know, I figured it out right after, and that's an awesome thing, you know, to be up there. I mean, Michael Finley's an Illinois guy, and, you know, I heard a lot about him when I was growing up, and, you know, to you know, kind of beat his record is kind of like a surreal thing, and it's, it's, it's a great feeling, and, you know, there's, I still got a lot of games left, too, so maybe it can happen again. I, I mean, I hope it can. As a basketball player, you want every shot to go in, and then when most of them are going in, it's going to feel great. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I can't really describe it. Um, it's just, it's an awesome feeling, you know, looking back on the game now and seeing, you know, being able to see the stats and everything. It was just, it was an awesome game. I know something about winning championships, and at Zimbrick Buick and GMC, you have one. Zimbrick Buick's tradition of customer care dates back to 1965. And Zimbrick continues to provide each of our customers with high quality personal service you can rely on. I'm part of the Zimbrick Buick and GMC team, and you should be too. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. Truth is, there are surgical procedures and medical treatments that only a handful of doctors can perform. Illness is so complex that only the preeminent hospitals in the world will take them on. These are those doctors, and this is their hospital. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals inside UW Health and the University of Wisconsin. UW Health, remarkable. When you buy Wisconsin dairy products, your hard-earned dollar brings you more than just the quality and great taste you know and love. It supports the dairy industry, which in turn reinvests that money back into your community, resulting in better public services, abundant recreation opportunities, and a beautiful place to call home. In all, dairy contributes $26.5 billion to Wisconsin's economy and eventually comes back to benefit you. To learn more, visit youtube.com slash dairyimpactwisconsin. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the dairy farm families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Zimbrick Buick GMC. 
by Adidas. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. This week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week, we check in with Mary and Milton, obviously aware of the Cancun Challenge trip that the Badgers took a couple of weeks back, and she wants to know what's, what's the warm weather trip for 2014? Yeah. Well, battle for Atlantis mm -hmm. uh, down in the Bahamas. That's, uh, you talk about some good teams. They really, uh, they really loaded up uh, with uh, Carolina, Oklahoma, UCLA. Butler, UCLA, yeah. Uh, yeah. to name a few. Um, but it's uh, it, it'll be a very uh, very competitive field, uh, three straight games in three straight days. So hopefully we can get down there and uh, and make some noise. Absolutely. And, and also enjoy the weather and enjoy the uh, all the different sights and have some have some fun. Absolutely. Relax a little bit. Absolutely. Uh, although the relaxation will be probably limited for the very guys limited. because yeah, of the competition, limited. as it always happens. Great fan trip, a tropical location and very, very good basketball to be seen once again for the Badgers to battle for Atlantis in November of 2014. Mary, we thank you for this week's Great Dane Great Question of the Week. Four locations of the Great Dane restaurants in Madison on the east side of town, downtown, Hilldale, as well as Fitchburg. Coach Ryan's radio show at the Hilldale location most Monday nights during the Badger Hoop season at 7 o'clock. And if you didn't know this already, we'll tell you again, there is a Great Dane up in Wausau as well. That'll do it for this week's edition. Join us next time as the Badgers continue through the non-conference portion of the schedule. Thanks for watching. Wisconsin Cheese, making good food great. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics.